welcome back here in this new video tutorial today we are going to learn how to create the gantt chart in microsoft excel gantt chart is a type of bar diagram that is used for illustrating the detail of the project as you see here in the screen this table contains the detail of the project like the task name start date end date and the required days and here the data is presented in a gantt chart which shows the task name here in the vertical axis the dates are given in the horizontal axis these bars here is showing the days required for every single task the date left to the bar is the starting date the date right to the bar is the ending date so all the information of this project is displayed here in the gantt chart so here we are going to learn how we can make this chart in microsoft excel now let's go to this new sheet and start creating the gantt chart here i have the project information in the table which contains the task name starting date and ending date to calculate the required days you can simply subtract the start date from end date so here press equal to click on the ending date minus the starting date of the task this gives you the required days here simply drag this down to calculate the days for other now here copy the starting date of the project and paste it here in one cell then copy the ending date of the project that is 12th june 2024 copy this and paste it here now exit from the copy mode by pressing the escape key in the keyboard now select this start date range click on insert tab then click on this column and bar chart then here in the 2d bar select this stacked bar option this will create this bar chart increase the size of it by going here in the corner then drag this to increase the size of the chart after this click on this data series then right click in your mouse then go to the select data option then here click on the add button now here in the series name click on required days then here in the series value remove this previously given value from here select and delete then select the days range from here then click ok again click on the add button then in the series name click on end date here in the series value remove this default value then select the end date range this way then click ok again click ok now here we need to display the task name so here click on this y axis value then right click then click on this select data here click on the edit option then in the axis label range select the task names then click ok now the task name is added click ok again now click on these two start and end date that we created here then convert this into the number format by clicking on the home tab then click on this formatting option then choose the number this gives the serial number for the start date and end date this we need to set here in the chart now click on the horizontal axis value here then right click click on format axis now here in the minimum and maximum we have to put these starting date and ending date numbers and while putting the number here in the minimum put the number that is five days prior to this starting date this is because we have to display the starting date here so we are creating the space to display the date so here just uh, reduce this by five and put it here that is 45408 so here in the minimum type 45408 and here in the maximum value add 5 to this ending date number and put here that is 45460 so here in the maximum type 45460 then click on the minimum again so that it will reflect here after doing this you can close this format axis now to display the starting date and ending date for every single task here click on this start date series then right click on your mouse then click on add data label similarly for this 
ending date series also click on it then right click click on add data labels this will add the date now again right click here then go to format data label option click on this then here in the label position choose the inside base option this will display the ending date beside this required days series now select this starting date data series then here right click on it click on format data labels then here in the label position choose this inside end option now the starting date is given here after doing this now click on this data series then we have to make this color invisible here so right click then go to format data series then click on this fill option then here choose no fill similarly for the end data series also click on this right click then click on format data series then click on the fill option then choose no fill now the color is removed after this here you see the starting date and ending date is given left and right to the days require series now to display the required days here in the bar click on this then right click in your mouse then click on add data label this will add this required days here if you want to increase the size of the font you can click on the data label then go here in the home tab then increase the font size from here if you want to increase the size of the bar click on this right click click on format data series then here in the gap width reduce this which will increase the size of the bar here you see the bar size is increased now let's give some color highlight to the chart for this click on the chart then click on this format chart area then here choose the gradient fill here you can choose other option also this is all about changing the visual appearance of the chart here i am going to take the gradient fill and in the preset gradient you can choose different color option here i am taking this color now close the format chart area then to display the chart title click on the chart design then click on add chart element then click on chart title then click on above chart here you can add the title of the chart that is project xyz process flow and timeline this is the title of the chart you can increase the font size by going to home tab then increase font from here similarly to increase the font size of this task name click on this font increase option for the date also click on the font increase if you want to give here the axis name then you can again go to chart design add chart element then here in the axis title click on this primary horizontal again go in the axis title primary vertical and here now you can add the axis title this is for date so here you can type dates here in the axis title you can write the task detail increase the font size by clicking here in the font increase option now the gantt chart is created you can increase the size by going here in this control and here you see every single task is represented by a bar here inside the bar there is a required days for this task at the left of the bar you can see the starting date at the right of the bar you can see the ending date so this is the way of illustrating the project in gantt chart in microsoft excel this much for today's video thank you very much for watching if you are visiting this channel for the first time i request you to subscribe and turn on all the notifications so that you will get similar kind of videos in future thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial